The crankshaft is a rod in the engine that is turned when the pistons combust. When the car is in gear, the crankshaft drives the transmission, which in turn propels the car forward. But what type of crankshafts are there, and which is the best? Well, in general, there are two types. These are cross-plane and flat-plane. The differences between these two types of crankshafts have to do with the angle between the crank throws, otherwise known as journals. A cross-plane crankshaft has a 90-degree angle between all the crank throws. If you look at one head-on, it looks like a plus sign, hence the name cross-plane. The problem with cross-plane crankshafts is that they require heavy counterweights in order to stay in balance, otherwise the excess vibration would accelerate engine wear. Because of these counterweights, cross-planes can't rev as high as flat-plane crankshafts, which don't require counterweights. Flat-plane cranks have 180 degree angles between the throws, which keeps them in balance and doesn't require them to have counterweights. This means less rotational inertia on the crank, which means it can rev higher. This is obviously good for power, but the problem with flat-plane crankshafts is they don't generate as much torque because the pistons have farther to turn the crank. This is one reason that Ferraris perform so well at high revs. Old-school American muscle cars typically used cross-plane crankshafts, which is what gives them their distinctive and aggressive rumble sound. Conversely, most high-end European supercars use flat-plane crankshafts, which allows them to rev higher and makes more of a whining sound. So, which is better? Well, as with most things involving cars, it depends. Cross-plane crankshafts will run with fewer vibrations at lower revs. This is more useful for consumer cars. I, you wouldn't really want your Toyota Corolla to be shaking around whenever you're sitting in a stoplight. Conversely, if you want to make huge revs but don't really care about those secondary vibrations, flat plane is most likely the way to go. Thanks for watching this episode of Quick Science. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, and if you learned something, subscribe.